I think certainly in the Western world it's become accessible. You don't necessarily need a gallery, you don't need necessarily lots of support, you can get your work out there. When I was six, I entered a competition um, and I remember painting this knight on a horse and it was quite a sophisticated image and it probably wasn't what people would normally paint when I was six. So I just remembered it and it won the competition so it was a bit of a surprise at that. And I remember framing it and putting it on the wall so that, that was my first memory. I can even remember I had this bright green background against this red night and it's quite colourful so it sticks in my mind. I guess it's a bit like waking up in the morning and looking forward to something. Uh, it, it's something I'm really keen to do and I feel lucky that I'm doing it and it makes me excited and, and I guess it makes me feel happy. I think, well, it goes through different stages and there's always some element I enjoy. Sometimes I enjoy working on the computer because I can, I can be working on the image on the computer anywhere. And I like that part of it. I feel I can sort of just, uh, at any time, you know, I don't need to get paints out or I don't need to get some materials or buy materials. It, I can, it's just there on the computer. So I, en I do enjoy that aspect of of it. And I like the idea of using new technology with perhaps more traditional materials. So the idea that I'm working on the computer it does, does free me up. I think it uh, enables me to try things out as well that perhaps I wouldn't have done before. Like I just change the whole colour palette on, a, on an image. Which of course if I was painting, that, that, you couldn't just do that. Um, so I enjoy that aspect of it. Uh, um, we, were, we were in some studios and we just finished art college and we were walking around. I used to work with uh, good friends. Uh, it was also called Simon. So it was the two Simons that went around the art studios and we used to criticize other people's work. Uh, not always in a positive way um, and I think perhaps they didn't like us coming in sometimes but I do remember one particular guy and he said he said well you just want art to really kick you in the face don't you and I quite like that comment because you know, if, if it's something quiet and you hardly notice it, it's not really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make you sort of notice it straight away and, and really take over your attention. Well, I certainly feel very privileged that I'm able to, to paint uh, and to pursue you know what I really love. I think I think definitely um, it is a privilege, um, but I think it's a privilege that's accessible to anyone. Uh, I do feel that nowadays, um, with Instagram, uh, social media in general, uh, with with a laptop, with the printers, you know, I think technology and the way the world has evolved. Um, I think certainly in the Western world it's become accessible. You don't necessarily need a gallery, you don't need necessarily lots of support. You can get your work out there really easily. So I, th I think it's a privilege in a sense that I feel privileged to be able to do the thing I love. But I also feel it's accessible to people who, who if that's something they want to do.